Hello again, friends. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you as always from St. Louis, Missouri, and I am super excited about the guitar that I have to share with you folks today. This happens to be the very first instrument uh, for Eddie's Guitars from this manufacturer. This comes from my friend Eric Weigeshoff up at Sky Top Guitars out of New York State. And uh, as I said, this is the very first one that we've ever had in our shop. This is the very first one that I have ever had an opportunity to play as well. I'm blown away by this guitar. Uh, we're definitely going to take a close listen to this guitar, uh, but I wanted to touch on some of the details of it first, as it's just a gorgeous guitar with some really exceptional tone woods. This is Eric's uh, Grand Concert Body. You can see it's a very comfortable, kind of a medium-sized guitar. This uh, particular example has happens to be a non-cutaway model. You'll see on his website, if you do any research, uh, he also does a number of cutaway models. Uh, and like I said, just some really fine details. Um, and uh, as you can see, uh, we'll just jump right to it. There is no front-facing sound hole on this guitar, which gives it an immediate different look. Uh, we're gonna jump into that a little bit as we uh, get into this as well. Speaking of the top of this guitar, which is sound hole free, you can see that it's a gorgeous set of Bear Claw Sidka Spruce. Just has a great color to it. Uh, and just seemingly an extra deep level of that uh, nice Bear Claw figuring all the way throughout that soundboard. Just a beautiful specimen here. Really nice. Take a look at the back and sides of this beauty. It is exceptional. Just a gorgeous set of very dramatic dark but uh almost looks like it's on fire brazilian rosewood just gorgeous set of wood here there's no back strip involved there just super clean looking nice simple purfling uh, all throughout the guitar as well just a nice simple theme really giving the uh, the tone woods of this guitar kind of front and center stage uh the the binding theme throughout the whole guitar is done in a just a jet black ebony really very clean looking you can see on the forearm bevel of this guitar however that is a beautiful cut of uh walnut there almost has a bit of a vignette look to it before it fades back into the ebony bindings there just incredibly beautiful execution on that forearm bevel and one of the few that i've seen that features a straight up different wood altogether than the rest of the binding theme which I thought was a super cool touch and a nice detail without looking out of place at all looks really perfectly coordinated in with everything else all the way up on the headstock you can see a jet black ebony veneer all the way up top you can see that sky top logo done in mother of pearl these are Cosmo Black Goto 510 tuning machines, so super, super smooth, very stable tuning machines, perfect for kind of a contemporary, kind of modern style guitar such as this. We have the standard one and three quarter inch width at the nut. The neck on this guitar, I have to tell you, I have very rapidly fallen in love with. It almost has sort of a, a semi-flat back to it. It's not necessarily the skinniest neck that I've ever felt in my life either. Again, it, it, it gives me sort of a modern sort of a feel to it. Totally playable though. Uh, great fretwork, just great execution of the neck ergonomics all the way across here. Beautiful ebony bridge down here as well, tying in with the ebony fingerboard. Uh, and I should not neglect to uh, to realize here the um, fanned fret or multi-scale aspect of this guitar on the short end, or I should say the treble side of the guitar, it is a 24 point nine inch scale length which is kind of a traditional short scale for like a martin uh type company on the low end or the uh, the base side here this is a 25.4 inch scale length uh, as you can see just a very subtle fan effect to the frets here as well as uh simultaneously down here to the bridge that 25.4 inch scale length is in fact a standard scale length or long scale length Again, Again, for a company like Martin. Uh, so it's kind of cool that you have both a short scale and a standard scale sort of in one package here. Uh, and what that allows for is sort of a sweetness to the trebles that are not in any way, shape, or form shrill or sharp sounding, but a very clear definition to the bass as well with a very fine intonated neck, I will have to say as well. Just a nice kind of side effect uh, of how Eric executes this design here. 
we will uh, take a look at the bass side rim of this guitar, which is certainly one of the stars of the show here. You can see these two absolutely massive uh, sound ports that are player facing in lieu of a front facing sound, uh, sound hole here rather. Uh, these giant sound ports do exactly what you would expect them to do. It's almost like a stereo monitor system for the player's benefit. And as Eric really eloquently says, uh, it is of great benefit to the player to have these sound ports, but without any detriment to the audience, which I think is a nice way of putting it. Uh, when we mic'd this guitar, we mic'd it in the standard fashion that we always do, so you'll hear exactly what we're referring to, uh, which, as I said, I'm looking forward to uh, getting to here. The bracing pattern on this guitar is a little different compared to um, you know, your standard X brace guitar, you could say. Uh, this is actually a radial brace guitar, and you can kind of see it from the, uh, the inside of the uh, sound ports here. It's almost like a, as as you would just you know as you would think radial. It kind of radiates out from the bridge itself, which is a, a really interesting design and something that is not tethered to the uh, real estate of the sound hole, which is really cool. Something that he's actually able to do with the lack of sound hole uh, on the face of this guitar, which is really cool. And I'll tell you just the wide range this guitar has from bass to treble including a very meaty mid-range as well as the dynamic response that comes out of this design is quite exceptional I would say and just very surprising to me to hear all this beautiful sound and, and big dynamic range out of this guitar. I do want to note this radial bracing system is not the only bracing system that Eric uses on his guitars. A lot of it depends on the stiffness of the top, the size of the guitar itself, uh, he does incorporate other bracing patterns and styles in his guitars as well, but we want to make note that this is a radial brace guitar in this particular example. So, as I said, just beautiful execution all throughout this guitar. I couldn't be happier about the sound or the uh, playable ergonomics of it. We will gladly take a listen to this beauty now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 